All right, guys, today, big day, huge, huge day, okay? It only happens once every 700 years. No, I'm not talking about the solar eclipse. Who cares about that? It's not even relevant because what's more important is make them suffer with a new song called Epitaph. The 700 years, maybe my calculations are wrong, but man, it, I feel like it's been a while since we've had some new make them suffer. I am so excited for this. I'm not gonna waste your time with this intro. Buckle up, this is gonna be a banger. I know it, I can feel in my plums, all right? That's all we need for chit chat, so make them suffer. Epitaph. So excited, man. <laughs> so fast now here comes the tasty riffs or a breakdown oh. yeah that's sick Ooh, 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 ooh. Cool changer, okay. Good good. Okay, they're leaving a lot of room for the second half of Saw, okay? Already at the second chorus. It's gonna get real, real filthy at the end. Ooh. Nice extension here. Ooh. Never too sick. Sean goes to finish now, that's all. He's a tall motherfucker, isn't he? Okay. Okay. This band, man, is at the top when it comes to just understanding how to write well-paced metalcore. This is another well-executed ex track that's still different enough from the previous single, so it really stands on its own. Now I'm gonna explain what I liked and disliked through the pros and cons. My number one pro is the vocal patterns and how catchy they are. They always have been. Sean's always been really good at just matching the rhythms of the music and just making his vocal patterns so extremely catchy on top of it. But Alex, holy crap, I thought that chorus was actually probably, well, was the center of the song, but that chorus was extremely well executed. Just the vocal patterns that da 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 
was so it, it's literally stuck in my head already and i can understand why they repeated the chorus three times it felt like the main focus of the song but pro number two that i want to talk about is the pacing right it's that intro with the synths before it builds up and then it gets into that quick verse with this like awesome riff and then that the chorus just like no time to waste let's get right into the chorus and then after that it's a little bit of a break but it's still some build up build up to the second verse which is the change it's just the well executed pacing and that bridge barely was too much of a lull we did have like a little bit of a clean break with sean's clean vocals until it built back up again the point is they just really made the song super tight they fit everything that they needed to in three minutes and 39 seconds and just make it super well paced no lull moments just high energy just kept my interest the whole way through pro number three is the electronics in this and just kind of new make them suffer i feel like they're really executing electronics really well it's tastefully done because the rhythms match what's going on with the electronic sounds like do 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 do, -do. <laughs> but the riffage just kind of matches it right so i just feel like this song and just like their previous singles electronics is something that feels kind of new to the band but they're implementing it well where it's not overpowering the music but it adds an extra detail extra character to their music and again helps the pace in the music pro number four is the music video although it's quite similar looking to like their previous music videos it's that consistency it's still them in like a warehouse looking room but like just the editing of the like quick like glitchy kind of shots back and forth and the odd like cgi moments right i think they just kind of like for the past couple singles they're really kind of identifying themselves as like a certain look for their band where you can go back to old make them suffer and they had you know a whole bunch of different looking music videos so i really think there's a consistent uh tone with the music videos consistent feel with the songs you kind of know what you're about to get with new make them suffer and it's never disappointing it's always just a banger so let's move on to the cons and since it's such a banger i don't have cons this was just a well executed track it did not need a big breakdown it did not need anything like that it, like they've already done that before and all the other like metalcore bands are kind of doing that this was just a to the point verse chorus verse chorus bridge chorus kind of track but man they know how to do it fucking really well so my rating for this is going to be 8.8 .8. i can see a lot of replayability for this just like every other make them suffer track but yep as expected another banger for epitaph but i'm curious to know what your thoughts are so comment down below spice up my life guys what you think about this song i'd love to know also if you've gone to this point of video and you haven't clicked off yet then i appreciate you man feel free to subscribe button feel free to leave like join the video but on that thing you tune in until next time peace